What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and today we're doing something pretty epic. I just completed my Conqueror achievement. So I am a Conqueror of Clash of Clans and now I get 20 gems. Huge award. <laughs> That's pretty outdated guys. That's one of the original achievements that you get to do in the game and it's actually pretty screwed up. You only get a thousand experience for destroying 5,000 people in multiplayer but it is an awesome achievement, one that's taken about two years to do, and I don't know many people have actually completed it. So let's go ahead and show some raids. All right, so our first raid, mostly going to be farming raids. So I found some awesome, awesome collector bases, and I'm in about Masters 3, and I just dropped into Crystal 1. And I'll be fluctuating between basically Crystal 1 and Masters 1, just hunting as much Elixir, Gold, and Dark Elixir as possible. And obviously, I just upgraded my King and Queen, so I'm not too worried. They're both under way of upgrade. And I have about 40,000 or 50,000 Dark Elixir saved up already for the next upgrade. So that's always good news. And that's what you want to do. You want to be able to keep those going. As you can see, just streaming down the goblins. This is why I Garch, guys. Because so much of that loot is on the outside of the base. It's so easy to steal. Look at how fast these goblins are taking it all out. And as you can see, we're going to absolutely crush this base. We've already got 370, 380,000 Elixir. And we're going to get a little bit more here. And I think we end up with a total of, oh, yep, 439,000 Elixir. That's insane. Let's go ahead and break the top in here and take this gold. As you can see, I do have a couple goblins left. We're going to use everything we have. Hopefully get to this next layer. We shall see if we have enough power. I doubt we're going to get through. Nope, we're not going to get through it. The wizard towers are just too strong and the double mortars are going to handle them. Unfortunately. However, we did end up stealing 440,000 Elixir along with 300,000 gold basically and 2,000 dark. So I'm pretty happy about that. My archers in the bottom here really did a lot of damage to that town hall. Almost got it. We didn't pull it off though unfortunately guys. So we're going to move on to the next raid. And here it is. Found a completely dead base. This is a very high level base but it is dead and it does have about 250,000 of each sitting on the outside of the base or within the first ring of walls. So that's the good news. Pretty easy to get to. And we're going to pretty much just circle the base, go heavy in the corners here because those gold mines are on the left side there, and we do want to get those. So we did wall break in, and I kind of overdid it just because I was overcompensating for that mortar and wizard. Didn't want to have to drop any lightning spells unless we have to, and uh, so far managing to not have to. So that's good news. So we're going to take out these mines on the bottom and the pumps, and we've already stolen most of the golden elixir in this base. We do have a dark elixir mine up top here we got to worry about, and one more down here. And then this left one's taken care of already. These minions are going to get it for sure. There it is. And, uh, yep, we got two more to steal. So let's go ahead and concentrate on them. We're going to speed this up. There goes the goblins. And uh, having to drop a lot more troops than I wanted to there, unfortunately. However, we do get it. And, oh, we do get the gold mine. Nice. So we do end up taking all the gold. And, unfortunately, I do mess up here. And I don't get this dark elixir. So I drop all my lightning spells on it just to make sure I do. So 3,000 dark elixir, 260,000 elixir and 269,000 gold so pretty awesome definitely enjoying that let's go ahead and find one more raid for you guys and we'll share it and then we'll call this the end of the video all right guys last one here it is we found a town hall snipe with all the loot on the outside i could not pass this up look at the loot showing so i dropped down like five or six archers on that town hall and then started spreading the archers out around the base just trying to take out a few outside buildings uh, going real slow in the beginning here. I'm going to speed it up. I was being very cautious. I like to be cautious and wait till I get about half the town hall before I start dropping troops around the base. Just so I don't draw a clan castle out and make it harder for me to get that town hall later. So as you can see, starting to drop down these goblins. And I'm guessing they're going to draw a clan castle if there's anything in it. Uh, doesn't look like anything's going to come out. So that's good news. I guess that's good news. And we've won a decent amount of loot so far. Already got the Town Hall. So we already got the bonus for Crystal 1. It's only like 65000 of each. But definitely worth it. Definitely helpful at the end of the day. And we're going to get the rest of this loot in the outside of the base. We're already at about 300000 gold, which is pretty awesome. Got to love taking that kind of gold for basically nothing at all. And about 240000 Elixir. Now what I'm going to do is focus on getting the rest of this Dark Elixir. And then I'm also going to see if we can get any more gold. But it looks like we, hmm, let's see here. 
forgot what I did in this one actually guys surprisingly so four times speed drop down these lightning spells take out the wizard and mortar and then let the archers down to take out the wizard tower I'm sorry the uh, archer towers and now we're gonna work our way into this base make sure we get in there with a couple of minions to take out those cannons because that'll save our archers a lot of trouble and so we're gonna drop down the clan castle unfortunately ooh, double big bomb that was reckless and we do wall break in our goblins are down. We had our archers and minions that are left over. They're all hunting down as much as possible. We do end up at the end of this all stealing that gold storage and getting into the center, but just not having enough troops to steal any dark. So only 1,700 dark, 330,000 gold though, and 270,000 elixir. Pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for being a supporter. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that. But as you can see, here's my achievements completed and only a few more to go. Let's get the rest knocked out as fast as possible. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.